Today we talk about what happens if you miss a dose of your medication. I'm Dr. Mark Amos, and this is Taco About Fertility Tuesday. It's Saturday night, and you're just getting back from your favorite Saturday night event, playing laser tag, and you just realize, I forgot to take a dose of my fertility medication. The question is, did you mess anything up? Now, every situation is a little bit different, so I'm going to break this up into the different type of treatment because it makes a difference. If you're doing artificial inseminations, also known as IUIs, intrauterine inseminations, it may not make a big difference if you miss one dose of a stimulation medicine since you're not trying to make a whole bunch of eggs. You're usually making two or three. But if you're doing something like IVF, you could have a bigger effect because you are trying to get extra eggs. The same thing goes for pregnancy. Obviously, once you're pregnant, missing a dose can sometimes affect the pregnancy. And so what we'll do is we'll start first with artificial inseminations. Usually when we're talking about artificial inseminations, we usually are talking about taking a med called Clomid or a med called Femara. Femara is also known as Letrozole. And these medications, the way they work, is they trick your brain into releasing more hormones from the pituitary, which is a gland that produces several hormones. Now, if you miss a dose of this medication, you're not going to have that big of an effect. Because again, you're only shooting for maybe two or three eggs. What you'll want to do is take the pill as soon as possible. However, if you completely miss the pill, don't double up on the dose. Just take the pill the next day, and then you'll take the pill one day longer. So for example, if you're taking the pills between the third day and the seventh day, and you miss the fifth day, you'll just take one on the sixth, seventh, and go to the eighth day. And that's because the way the medication works is it's just causing your body to make more hormones Taking a double dose seems like it would be the right answer, but it really isn't going to benefit you as much as just taking it for a few for a day later. However, sometimes your doctor is going to use something stronger than Clomid or Femara. They'll use what we call injectables, such as Gonaleth, Folostim, or Menopure. And those medications, instead of tricking the body into making eggs, they actually give you the hormone directly to force the eggs to grow. Now, what matters here is where you are in the cycle. If you miss a dose of your injectable and it's early in the cycle, then it's going to affect the amount of eggs that you recruit. And what I mean by that is, in the beginning, the first dosage of medications is recruiting the eggs. At the end of the stimulation, your body is just causing the eggs that have already been recruited to keep growing. So, in this situation, if it is the early part and you miss a dose, it is possible you may lower the amount of eggs that you recruit. So taking a higher dosage may get back to the same point, but it also may not. Now, like we talked about in the beginning, if we're talking about artificial inseminations, you're really only shooting for two or three eggs. So worst case, if you only got three eggs instead of four or two over three, you really haven't changed the outcome of the cycle. So I wouldn't be worried if you missed a dose at the beginning of the cycle. The same thing goes for missing a dose at the end of the cycle. At that point, the eggs are already recruited and you're just helping them grow. Now, it is possible if the follicle size is around the 14 millimeter size and you miss a dose, it could cause that follicle to not keep growing because before 14 millimeters, the follicles are what we call gonadotropin dependent, meaning if you don't give hormones, they're not going to grow. After 14 millimeters, they, they become gonadotropin independent. And so if you miss the dose later, it is possible you may lose one of the eggs that were growing, but I wouldn't be too concerned if you miss the dose near the end. Now with IVF, it's a little bit different because now you are trying to get a lot of eggs. You're not just shooting for two or three. So if you miss a big dose, let's say 300 units of medication, you could have a little bit of effect on your egg quantity. If it's just a few hours, then you can just take your dose immediately. I spoke about this in one podcast where I discussed 
if you were late on medications and how late you can be. So there's not much to worry if you're still able to take it the same day. But if you miss the day, I would definitely talk to your doctor and they're probably going to have you double up on your dosage to make up for the day that you missed. Such as if you're taking meds in the morning and night and you missed the morning dose, they may have you take that dose at night. Now, if we're at the end of the cycle, it's a little bit different because now the follicles have already started growing. Similar to the IUI that we were discussing, the follicles have already been selected. Now you're just getting them to grow. So missing a dose at the end probably doesn't affect it as much. Matter of fact, many times we'll actually lower doses at the end of a cycle or even not have you take any medicine for a day, which is what we call coasting, to let the follicles grow on their own because at that point they would still be gonadotropin independent. But one medication that is very important to take on time is your trigger shot. And sometimes you're going to forget. Maybe they have you take the trigger shot at night and you fell asleep a little bit early. What you need to do is not take your trigger shot immediately. But instead, you call the doctor, call the doctor on call, and find out what they want you to do. If you take your trigger shot immediately and the timing is off, that may throw everything off with regards to a retrieval or IUI that can't be done at the right time. And so I'd say hold off on taking the shot and call your doctor. Now, how, how late are we talking about here? Maybe about a few hours. You're still fine. But if you're talking about IVF, even being off by an hour could be a problem. IUI, again, a few hours, no big deal. But with IVF, the timing is very important. Being off by a few hours can actually cause your eggs to be immature. I had this happen with one patient where we weren't retrieving eggs one day and we couldn't figure out why. And then what we found out is, is the patient forgot to take her shot and just took it the next day. Now, instead of telling us this, what she did is she just waited till we drew her ACG level to make sure the shot was in her body and assumed everything was fine because the ACG said it was good. But what she didn't understand is, is that the ACG was just showing it was there. But because we didn't know about the timing, when we did the retrieval, we did it too early and a lot of her eggs were immature, and unfortunately, we didn't know about it until it was too late. Now, the good news is everything still turned out fine, and they had success. But the point is, if you miss that trigger shot, and it's not just an hour, you need to call the doctor and right away let them know so they can give you a new time to trigger and may even recommend you taking another medication to prevent ovulation. A new area with regards to IVF is frozen transfers. Many, many clinics now are doing only frozen transfers and no longer are doing fresh transfers. So a lot of women are always building up their lining to get their lining to build up and they're using something like estrogen, which is estradiol. Now, if you miss a dose of this, there is almost no harm at all. Usually you're taking a dose twice a day or three times a day. You could even miss this by hours and no problem. Now, if you've missed a couple days, then you start getting spotting, and there might be an issue and you need to let your doctor know. But if you miss one dose between two doses or three doses a day, you're probably not going to have any issues. Still always let your doctor know, but again, nothing to be worried about. Now, when it comes to progesterone, a little bit different. Once you start your progesterone, if you're in the beginning before the transfer and you miss an entire day of progesterone, honestly, I would probably say cancel that cycle and let your doctor know. because. Once you miss a dose of progesterone, there is going to be a decline in the progesterone level, which is what leads to a woman getting her menses. And so the concern would be is that the progesterone level never got to what we call a steady state, which is when you're taking injections, you're taking them every 24 hours, and eventually the doses in your body starts to stabilize. That's a steady state dose. If you miss a dose, it may not get there and drop, and that could affect your lining and potentially affect the chances of the transfer working. So like I said, in most situations, I think the doctor will cancel, but definitely talk to your doctor. Don't just double up on the dose the next day and think everything's fine. Now, what about if that happens after the transfer, before you even know you're pregnant? Well, in that situation, obviously let your doctor know. They may have you double up, but you can't really change the past at that point. And so could it affect? It could, but luckily at that point, there should be a steady state. So it may not be the most harm in the world, but again, let your doctor know and then they can figure out when you get your pregnancy test, if everything looks fine, fantastic. The last case would be progesterone for pregnancy. So now you're pregnant, everything went great, transfer worked, 
and you're seven, eight weeks pregnant, and all of a sudden you miss a progesterone dose. Do you need to be worried? Well, it's never good to miss a dose of progesterone, but it depends on when you miss that progesterone. The placenta starts developing actually very early on. It doesn't become completely dependent on the placenta to probably around eight weeks. And so if you miss it before eight weeks, there is some concern, but realistically, missing one dose is probably not going to cause a miscarriage. You may have some spotting and that may be scary, but probably won't cause a miscarriage at that point. If you miss it after eight weeks, at that point, the placenta is already producing progesterone. You're probably only supplementing at this point and the placenta is doing most of the work. And so there is almost no harm missing a dose after eight weeks. Now, that being said, obviously there are situations where the placenta may not be working or the progesterone levels aren't as high as we want them to be and there could be an effect. So in no way am I saying miss a dose. But what I'm saying is it's not going to be all or none at that point, usually by eight weeks. You're going to be at the point where there's enough progesterone, a steady state, that will have no major effect, and the placenta is already producing some progesterone. However, prior to eight weeks, especially very early on, around five, six weeks, you are really giving all the progesterone, and there could be some effect, although I have had people even as early as five weeks miss a progesterone dose and nothing happened. Hopefully this was helpful to you. As always, I really appreciate everyone's reviews. And if you enjoy this and like this podcast, please go to your favorite podcast media and give us a five-star review. I look forward to talking to you again next week on Talk About Fertility Tuesday.